And we have another question from Erica. How do you get tenants to pay costs such as taxes, insurance, interest expenses? Uh, and I, I guess in other words, putting all of the costs uh, on the person, the resident living there, as opposed to all of a sudden having your income chopped away by all these little expenses. Well, you know, one thing you want to always do is look at what the person can afford first. So we always look at all the income coming into the family. We divide by three. That's a thumbnail. That's not a final analysis that an application would give us. However, it gives us a thumbnail. So if they're making $4,500 a month, then off the bat, that means they can afford $1,500 a month. Well, out of that $1,500, if they come in at the rent or rent to own level, then we're paying the property taxes, the insurance out of those uh, incomes. But when they move up to the agreement for deed level, which is exactly where Mr. Vietnam was at, then he's not only paying his principal and interest on the agreement for deed, he's also paying property taxes and insurance. And again, they have to be able to afford that. So when I originally talked with Mr. Vietnam, just tying in with that, uh, I asked him, so how much do you earn from your net income from your nail salons? And it was $12,000 a month. So that said in my head, well, he can afford $4,000 a month. And we ended up somewhere in the range of about 3,700 when you add in his property taxes and insurance. So basically it worked out fantastic for him. Obviously eight years and three months he paid. Oh, by the way, he was excellent payer, paid, paid, paid as agreed, paid on time. He's just a perfect, perfect client and definitely someone that has served our country well by doing what he said he was going to do and by coming, becoming a good solid citizen in this country for sure. So yeah, there's many different things, Erica, that are covered and paid for out of the money, but it just depends on which program they go into as to who's paying it. 